Well, I have something for you to do tonight if you don't have plans in your SpaceX daily update. A launch of a super secretive military plane should go tonight after it was pushed from Sunday. This U.S. military space plane, the X-37B, will launch atop a SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket. And since its debut more than a decade ago, the X-37B has been a source of mystery within our space community. The secretive space plane, which was scheduled for launch on Sunday, Sunday on the robot craft's seventh mission to orbit atop a SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket was delayed until today, and it should be happening tonight. In fact, SpaceX is targeting Monday, December 11th at 8.14 p.m. Eastern Time for the Falcon Heavy launch from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Now, the X-37B debuted over a decade ago, and we don't know a lot about its activities in low Earth orbit. The U.S. Space Force does not usually disclose the classified aspects of the X-37B. However, it's been a while since we've seen a launch of this space plane. The last one was back in May of 2020 on an Atlas V rocket. And this is a first for SpaceX in terms of launching from a Falcon Heavy. The fifth X-37B mission was from a Falcon 9 rocket, but this will be the first time that Falcon Heavy has done the job. Keep in mind too, this mission's orbit is expected to be higher than previous missions. And hey, this is not SpaceX news, but it's pretty dang relevant. We learned that that the ULA Vulcan rocket is delayed again. It will not launch as a Christmas present. The debut launch will slip into 2024 due to some ground system issues, according to ULA's top chief, Tori Bruno. This means that ULA, which is based in Colorado, will have only had three launches in 2023. Kind of makes them look puny compared to SpaceX, which usually has three launches per week at least. The Vulcan rocket is the next generation rocket for the United Launch Alliance. Unfortunately, they just keep running into issues. Tori Bruno shared on X that ULA tried to do a wet dress rehearsal, but it didn't work out as planned. He wrote, wet dress rehearsal update, vehicle performed well, ground system had a couple of routine issues being corrected, ran the timeline long so we didn't quite finish. I'd like a full wet dress rehearsal before our first flight, so Christmas Eve is likely out. Next Peregrine window is January 8th. Now, Peregrine is the rocket's primary payload, a lunar lander built by Astrobotic, which will deliver scientific experiments for NASA and other payloads to the moon. The next attempt will likely occur no earlier than January 8th. Just a reminder too, I will be interviewing Jonathan McDowell this Thursday at 2 p.m. Central Time, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. We will be doing a sort of catch up about space news. I haven't interviewed him in a long time and I know that so many of you love to hear his insights and knowledge. And so be sure to join us and mark it down if you would like to ask Jonathan some questions. Also, Thursday is the deadline for ordering your Starship shirt. So yes, there is a deadline because we have to close the sale and make the amount of shirts. So far, unfortunately, we've only had maybe nine orders. So uh, not as many as I was expecting. So this is your reminder that if you want a Starship shirt to please order, and I will leave the link in the description because time is running out and Christmas is approaching and we wanted to close the store in time to ship orders for the holidays. So thank you so much for supporting my channel and my daily updates. I think that I'm gonna be running these Monday through Friday just because that's when the news cycle is actually happening. And I hope that you guys are all having a great holiday season.